This is Hammer Down, and I am Sledge. I am my own hero. Here we bring our comment section to life. Come take a journey with me as I ask fan questions and get fan opinions. If you haven't yet, go ahead and Sledge all three of those like, share, and subscribe buttons as I crank up these questions. I'm from Kingsport, Tennessee, about 15 minutes from Bristol Motor Speedway. Honestly, probably moving forward more than anything. I mean, you got to live for the future. You can't live in the past because that just is not a good decision, honestly, in my opinion, because you need to look forward to your future. If I had to say, right here in Atlanta. I mean, that's not biased because Chase Elliott won here last year, but I mean, that freaking super speedway racing is another level here, I tell you. It's amazing. Uh, probably not here. I rather see it like North Wilkesboro or Martin's like a short track kind of atmosphere, honestly. I think it should be like on a rotational basis, kind of like the all-star race in my opinion, honestly. Yeah, it brought in some new players. I think definitely I was happy for Shane to see him get a win and, you know, bring new eyes to the sport for sure. I think it was a good thing, obviously, just to promote our marketing and stuff. I think it was a good move, honestly, strategically. Ah, he's a pretty good guy. I mean, obviously, one of my guy to win, but SVG, he seems like a cool cat. Ah, I wouldn't mind it. I think it'd be good to, you know, put more street races in and maybe change up the scenery ever so often. Obviously. Chase Elliott. Probably Kyle Larson. Oh, absolutely. 2022 Chevrolet Trailblazer. <laughs> Right here, Chase Elliott. Yeah, he's pretty good. Pretty good play commentator. I this year I'm gonna honestly say Ryan Priest, honestly, if I'm being honest. Uh, I can see it for sure. I gotta go for Kyle Bush this year. I mean, he's been the most consistent of any of these drivers so far that I've seen this year, honestly. Uh rotation. I'm sorry. Not a bit not a big fan of the clash. It's a little gimmicky for me. Yeah, I kinda like to see it. Just like, you know, like know like how the fans think and stuff. Like, you know, like maybe even like put like a questionnaire in, like say like why did you vote for this person and like you know, get their thoughts like on overall, like how's the best way to represent like our sport in terms of like, you know, who should be the face of the sport each year. And so I think it'd be good to kind of, you know, understand the thought and the thinking that goes into voting for sure. I think honestly, more short tracks. I mean, I'm that kind of small town guy because I mean, I live down near Bristol, Tennessee. And I mean, maybe that's a little biasy coming from me, but I mean, no I went to North Wilkesboro this year. And, I mean, that thing, if they can get the, the package going, we're going to have a heck of a show there in North Wilkesboro. I mean, that old concrete, I mean, it's worn out. It's, this is like fine wine in my opinion. I mean, Short track racing all day. Oh, absolutely. I love to see Iowa as a short track. I mean, that'd be a fantastic show at Iowa, in my opinion. Yeah, I, I, I think he'll break through potentially, maybe Daytona. I mean, I could also see, even see him like in a few, like some of the intermediates. I mean, he's been working on his stuff this year. I mean, normally I'd be kind of a little critical of Bubba, but I think this year he's doing really good, honestly, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely. I love to see Carl come back to the sport, period, honestly. I mean, but if they're willing to get in the 67, I think that'd be kind of cool, honestly. I, unfortunately, for old Austin Dillon, I'm afraid it ain't going to, I'm afraid it ain't going to be his year this year, unfortunately. Honestly, I think it's consistent as ties. I, mean, I think he might just point his way in, honestly, this year. I mean, he's been running consistent. He hasn't been tearing the car up like other people in the past have. And, I mean, he's been he's been making it his own. I mean, he ain't been flashy, but, I mean, he's been making a good effort, in my opinion, honestly. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think we're going to see Suarez smash Spaniard for the years. Though. I mean, honestly, I mean, Indy Road Course potentially, honestly, in my opinion. Okay. I mean, I think he's had a kind of an act for the road courses lately and such. I mean, Indy Road Course, I think Suarez could definitely go to victory lane there and smash Spaniard, I think. Yeah, that's good stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. A pleasure. Bringing this to you and all positivity. Soon we'll bring this to you from all the tracks. Until then, keep sledging. Keep putting the hammer down on those like, share, and subscribe buttons.